Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you very quickly how to make your own logos or illustrations on your MacBook completely for free. You don't need any fancy Photoshop skills, just a Mac or an iPhone. The app is available on both. And what's this app called? It's called the Image Playground. It's something Apple recently released uh, where you can use AI completely free to generate your own images. So similar to uh, chat GPT or some other AI tools that you might have used in the past. The only difference is this is completely on your MacBook or your iPhone and you don't have to uh, install anything else or uh, subscribe for anything or pay for anything or go to some other random website and you can use that safe and secure entirely on your Mac or iPhone. Let's dive right in. So what you want to do is go on your Mac and open um, Image Playground. And you're greeted with this screen where it tells you to describe an image or add a suggestion from the list. Now, you can see over here, you see the various themes and suggestions. You can click show list to show more of them or show, um, to sh you can click show more to show more of them or show less to show less of them, of course. And you've got different ones like adventure, birthday, disco, fantasy, etc. And below that, you have a text box where you can type in a description of the image you want and you want to create uh, over here you can choose person so this is if you want to make an image based on yourself or a family member or a friend so this has access to the people in your photos library so if you use an iphone you you're probably aware of that feature where you can identify people in your photos of course i won't click on this for the sake of privacy <laughs> to to spare my friends uh, that that headache and on the other side, you can see another button called uh, where it says style. So you can click on that to choose either animation or illustration. I think illustration is really cool. So we'll go with that. And of course you have this button here where you can take a photo uh, with your webcam or choose one from your, your photo library to use as sort of a reference point um, to further build upon. So this is really you get sort of all that power to do what you want. But for this, for the sake of this video, to keep it sweet and short, let's make a logo. So I would ask uh, Image Playground to make a logo. Um, so I'm making a new hotel specifically targeting our uh, winter visitors. So let's make a logo for that. So we add that, press enter, and then that's added. Uh, over here to what it's what, what what's um, being generated as you can see more dots are appearing so it usually will generate about four options for you for you to choose from so you can cycle through them as you can see they're all pretty much the same so it's fine we can we can um, add some more maybe let's add some more um, context to get something better so I'll click on fantasy here let's see what it comes up with Ooh, now that's getting interesting. So by adding fantasy and my prompt, you can see it gives me something even more fantastical, which I think is really cool. Okay, now we can add even more and add winter holidays. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so I don't think that made much of a difference, really. Just added a snowman and, you know, added a lot more snow, <laughs> uh, which is interesting. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, what happens if we added Starry Night, for example? Now, you can, you, you're free to be as crazy or as conservative as you want. And as you can see, it takes the same image, but just makes it nighttime, which I think is really cool. So, yeah, um, I think this one's good. So, once you once you like one of them, uh, look at all these. Right, okay. I think the second one's better. Yeah, I like this one a lot. So, once you're done, you, you'd see this button at the top right corner tap on it and then it generates your image and you're free to use it for whatever you want. You can duplicate it, you can share it, you can delete it, you can edit it further and go back and then add more prompts and whatever. But yeah, it's all done. And you can see that didn't take long at all. That was done entirely for free. And best part is this is free for me to use for my purposes. So yeah, guys, um, that's been it. Sweet and short. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you generate something cool. Send me a link in the description or rather in the comment section below. I'd love to see your wacky creations uh, with this cool new tool. And uh, yeah, I think the future is looking very interesting uh, with AI and all these generative tools we have. All right, guys, that's been it. Have a nice, nice time playing with this tool. Until next time, be fantastic. See you around.